According to Calgary Fire, if you hear the smoke detector in your house going off, you've got on average between two to three minutes to safely get out of your home. I'm joined now by Carol Hankey, Public Information Officer with Calgary Fire. Why is this a great time to be talking about fire safety? Well, it's the holidays for a lot of people and you have lots of guests in the house, you're doing more cooking, you've got holiday decorations, maybe some candles going for mood and we do see fires happen mm -hmm. consistently, regularly, unfortunately, and it is a very risky time of year. What's the number one call that you get? How are the fires starting? Cooking fires. Cooking left unattended is still the most common type of fire that we see from November to January. Okay, what are some other issues? I mean, are Christmas trees going up in flames? Is this a big uh, issue? So Christmas trees can be a significant risk. We don't see a lot of those fires, mm -hmm. but when they happen, they are really, really hot, fast burning and cause a lot of damage. Uh, so what tips can we offer people to avoid at least that issue? If you have a real tree, you need to make sure that it's a fresh tree. It needs to get watered every single day. They actually take a lot of water because if they dry out, they will just combust really, really quickly. And making sure that you're not using any old cords that have frays or breaks in them, that you're not plugging in too many at a time, overloading the circuits. Let's talk about detectors, both smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. How often should we be testing these and swapping out the batteries? So to maintain them properly, you should be testing your alarm once a month by pushing the test button. Okay. Batteries should be changed a minimum of once a year if they're battery operated or have a battery backup. And you had a really great tip about where we should be keeping these alarms. So smoke alarms, you should have them on every level, inside and outside your sleeping areas. Yep. For carbon monoxide alarms, if you only have one, have it in or near your sleeping area because if it activates, you can hear it. If it's tucked away in the furnace room down mm -hmm. in the basement and you're in a two-story home, you might not hear it for hours and it might be too late at that point. All right, you can revisit all of the tips that we've just covered on the Calgary Fire website. Thanks yes. for joining us, Carol. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I'm Sarah Freemark for City News.